Yes, family, Bomani Tayimba here, family, and we are here at the Natural History Museum. And yes, family, this is what we talked about uh, being a former German outpost and modified into a cultural historical museum. Mm. Wow. So if you dare, the tower is exactly halfway. Oh. They have done a lot from of to research south. here. From Cape Town up to Cairo, all the other From way. Cape to Cairo. The British dreams of building a railroad. Yes. For the, all their dirty works. <laughs> okay, you're welcome. Uh, yeah, the same. Watch it. What is that? And family, this is a nice cultural compound. This the whole building right here is the m main museum. And then also you have another museum right across there. And for those who are familiar with military forts, you can kind of look at the top and see the formation of how the fort was set. Uh, so this was an ingenious organized operation to this, make this into a nice museum. Can I squeeze in there? Squeeze in. Yeah. Alright, it is a little bit dark. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, unfortunately, sometimes it goes like that. Lots of the information. Mm. We'll slowly go. Yes, you can spend your time. Don't be far behind to read the information about this part is representing the, uh, okay. the old Tupai Gorge where Mary and Louis Dickey found the fossil bones of Homo habilis, Homo sapiens, and it's starting like from there. That means our root or our beginning is in, in Tanzania along the Old Dupai Gorge, which is on the part of the Rift Valley. Yeah. Uh, slowly as we go, if there's any question come out. That's where, Lucy, that's where Lucy was found. Lucy was not here. Lucy was found in Ethiopia. Yes. Oh, okay. And okay. it's the shortest yeah. human that... Uh, and when they, when they found her, the scientists were singing Lucy in the sky. Mm. That's why after the finding, they named the skeleton as Lucy. Okay. But uh, Lucy is not in, in, in Tanzania. Okay. So slowly, I will go that way and we'll exit from that side and the, to the other museum. Uh, can you turn the lights on? Uh, no, the bulb lights. Flash on your camera. So we can keep on moving now. Watch the, watch, the, watch the flow, watch the flow. Don't okay. hit something that you don't expect. And so family, the only issue is that it is just a little bit dark, so we do our best to work the lights. The family, this is one of the museums where you have to come spend time and just read. So family, would love to show you a lot more, just breezing through this museum. Mr. Bomani Dakari. Son, you remember? 
All right, so you said this is what we're going to be seeing. Wow, look at this. This, um, So you remember coming here? Mm -hmm. No, no, it was a year ago. Hello, family. If you want to listen to the naturalist, he is here. Mm -hmm. I'm saying if you want to listen to the person telling about the history of this place, is he arrived? Oh, perfect. So and we, we do have a lecture at the front family, but we're just literally sharing. With, we're sharing. We do have a nice, fully recorded layout of this museum from our last journey with a full presentation from the presenter the on-site uh, tour guide Why do I feel like there's no way out? No, no, he will, he, he will, he's talking there, he will show us the way out. I, am, I was trying to walk out. For some reason, it looked like there, oh, there we go. So this is it, family. So this is where out. we have to go to get out. Some of these are under renovation, so they closed, they covered them. They are putting new pictures, that's why they have removed and covered those. Yeah, museum parts. under renovations. Do you take all your groups here? Most of our groups for history tour, we bring them here. Yeah, the, uh, now I have a simple philosophy about museums. You either show up and you go to the museums or they close them down. No, no. Because if we don't have people going to museums, they close them down. Of course, it's, we it's, lose them easily. Because the money that we pay to visit the museum is which is paying the people who are keeping the museum to go. If we don't know visitors, no museum. That's There's it. no meaning of having a museum if you don't have people are visit, who are visiting it. And that's why, honestly, brother, every time I go to any different parts of Africa, we make sure we go to, we find all the museums to go to. I think last time we hit all the museums that we could. Yeah, and I think you remember how people liked it last time. Uh, this is one of the things that African for Africans is doing in Africa to make sure that uh, things that we keep as a history is going on, because otherwise we lose it and the people will never know the past. Yeah, that's it. That's my, that's my best contributions. Uh, just sharing our documentation right. uh, in uh, Africa, and then you know, putting our energy together to do business. Yes. Mr. Man, where are you going? Will we, will we get a chance to see you, Kevin and John, or are we too far away? No, we are not too far away. Whenever it clears out. So, so family, uh, this is a, a nice museums, and you know, museums always can use upgrades and works and everything. But the most important aspects of the museum is people coming to learn about the roots and culture. So, I guess that's what we would call it uh, stuff. This is this nice little section. With lots and lots of the animals that you just used to see in safaris and, you know, and some of these. You know, history channels with uh, views of nature. Yeah. And friend, once you get out the back of the museum, then you know you have a full compound back here. But what we have over here is some additional, yeah, additional display going. You have a nice little organizer, little garden layout, um, like a little botanical garden. And then you have some shopping area further in the back. So we're going to give you more of this uh, highlight family. And one of my favorite place here and that is the art center. Yeah. So we're going to be going back there. 
and you know, getting people connected with shopping. Yes, Mr. Bomani Dakari, what's the, you looking for your turtle friends? But one most beautiful thing, family, is it is literally just so nice and tropical. Bomani time, but in the flesh. All right, so what is this, little man? Rats. This is white mice. What is this? No, they're rats. Okay, I'm just looking at what it, the, the sign oh, says. Wait. So they got like obstacle course. You know, the back area is open, right? You can go back there. Just be careful of them jumping on you. I'm gonna eat it. And one thing I can say, family, is whenever we pop up in museums, sometimes, honestly, it's just like only us. And as we mentioned, family, if we don't support the roots and culture, you know, it's kind of like if you don't practice your roots and culture, those things go and disappear, all gone. All right, so, all right, so this is a different presentation. So they, they must have got real big. No, they're the same size. That one is small. That one's smaller though. Oh, wait, how did they get a house? You want, don't you want to go over there? No. You sure? No. You, you, look, you boy, you are prepared. You got, you got, you got, you got your jacket and everything. That one, that one is sweet. I'm gonna taste it. I know you didn't say that. Yeah, what did I say? I'm not gonna repeat it. <laughs> Why? I didn't say anything. All right. All right, cool. So, family, that's one thing I do like about this uh, museum also is this, the, the nature part of it. Uh, so, that's unique, just putting different concepts into it. So, I feel like you get your money's worth out of this museum because you have so much things to do. And once we finish in here, family, we're going to be heading out to do some shopping, some more shopping. And that's one thing we always have for your family, lots of shopping, even when you come to different museums and things.